Now, there's a lot of sheeple out there that will believe in anything they are told. They will do everything that they are told. You know why? Because they're easily influenced by everything. By the media, by television. You know, they're easily influenced into, into a different paradigm or different belief system that quickly. And we have a word for them. It is called sheeple. These are the type of people that uh, flip out over nonsense, uh, try to rally a cause. You know, when they see pagans in the area, they'll call them Satanists and devil worshippers and all that. There's a whole bunch of issues with the sheeple of this country that will li really listen to everything the news has to say to them. And I think they're saying it to them and not just dissuading an entire public or community. Ah, uh, but uh, what is the root meaning of sheeple? Where did the word come from? Where does it come from at all? The answer really might surprise the hell out of you. These are the type of people that will believe whatever they hear, regardless of what, whether or not it's true. Um, and there are people out there that will say something is true without absolutely proving it for themselves, whether or not it's true. And that is an issue. But where does the word come from? Well, the word does come from religion in a sense. Because the very first use for the word of sheep was obviously farm animal, but in a wider sense it was used for the people that were o obedient and are swayed by Christ. Um, in the left, right hand, and I think in the left hand is the goat that's uh, disobedient. Why do you think there's a whole bunch of trash talk about sheeple out there saying they're too obedient. That they're being screwed over by some government or they're being screwed over by something. By fal a false society. Do you think there's really a connection? Well, not really. Because the deriv derivative of that word is unique. There might actually be... Um, the majority of that word and the use of that word is non-religious. So, but... It really is a concept, and it's called over-obedience to a non-caring society or individual. Because they can be screwed over, you can be screwed over by your friends, and you think your friends are loyal. And, or you can get screwed over thinking pills are good for you, but they're prescribing pills to literally uh, give you heartache, or a heart attack, or sleep paralysis, or never waking up from sleep, and stuff like that. You would never know. Nobody would ever know exactly what happens when you become someone who watches TV and becomes TV saturated enough to um, accept all the programming, the television programming and the television broadcasting, because they're broadcasting programming to you. And you always got to remember that. And there's also a chance that believing in conspiracy theories blindly will make you a sheeple as well because they're, they're, they would be the type of people that would convince you to go against something without absolute basis in fact. So you always got to check out if these conspiracy theories has any valid truth to them before you blindly, blindly believe in such. But it is the mass society that are sheeple. They control the world. They influence their younger generation, the younger generation. You know, you'd be surprised how many people in the younger generation become sheeple themselves because of their family and all this. But a, a it doesn't matter really because sheep will be sheeple, and you gotta wake up to the mass bullshit being spread everywhere. So I hope everybody does eventually wake up in a sense. Sheeple are the people that are docile and easily led and easily fooled and are known to be foolish. So you just gotta be careful um, exactly who you're dealing with.
because, you know, sheep in wolf's clothing matters just as much as wolf in sheep's clothing. So, some people pretend not to be sheep, but really they're being led to a slaughterhouse or off a cliff, like in the popular um, depiction of sheeple, they're being led to the bottom of a cliff of, uh, and leading to death. You'd be surprised. But uh, the sheeple will flip out about anything. They will say, oh, mute magic is in video games. They look at Dungeons and Dragons and a lot of other pro uh, projects and say, oh, well, they're teaching our young magic and stuff like that. But you have to ask yourself, what is really, really wrong with magic? What's wrong with that? Because in the end, a lot of people say that the fictional video game fantasy games, the fantasy games have uh, subjective witchcraft to subjugate people's minds and all that type of stuff. That's a whole another issue. And like I said, I just wanted to describe uh, the, the in my interpretation of sheeple. And I hope you all have, in a sense, a blessed day. A blessed, blessed day blessed day.